I wasted 17 minutes of my life that I'm never going to get back watching a bunch of bull crap about how single frequency detector is better than a multi-frequency detector. Talked to Georgie on the phone years ago about a Nexus mode detector and testing it. Um, never got around to doing it, never got around to buying one. Uh, the multi-frequency Equinox come out. It's a single frequency detector. Single frequency detectors are obsolete. How dare you? Say this, Nexus mode detectors are a fancy knob job mode detector. Look at them. They're analog detectors with a bunch of knobs on it and a little old light meter on it for ID. That's what it is. It's a single frequency detector. Single frequency detectors are obsolete. 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 I'll back it up just a little bit where to hit it just a little bit better. How about that? Might have to slide it over just a little bit. We'll slide it over right in there away from the elevated nail just a little bit. Multi-frequency detectors have an advantage on those detectors performance-wise. You have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words. I'm not going to buy a Nexus mode detector and test it because I already know it's a physics thing. I don't have to. It's a physics thing. <laughs> Bing, <pop. laughs> you know, I'm not going to put up some bullcrap video, you know, basically promoting some kind of outdated technology. V3, VCO tones, double D coil, 10 inch, 18 kilohertz discriminated out the pool tabs it's on trashy ground there's quite a lot of trash in here so it might be picking up it doesn't take long to find there we go look there is trash littered all over the place so let's use a coin we can all relate to us quarter that i found on the thames So let's take, keep it there, put that, let's just dump some of these over the top of it. Let's just concentrate this section, yeah? So we keep that around. Technology that Nexus is running, in my opinion, is outdated, obsolete. Hi, we're testing Nexus Standard MP prototype with two pavement blocks. Both of the blocks are different composition. The test is quite difficult because we have to balance together two different mineral, uh, two different stones in mineral content and then move them together across the coil and detect a gold coin. So let's see. So the stones are fairly balanced. There is very minor background noise. I'm going to remove that noise with suppressing the threshold. 
no noise. Gold coin on the top of the rocks. The first target is a 5 gram gold bar. A ground balance procedure is performed. Now the detector performs smoothly, and the target is placed underneath the magnetic brick. A loud and clear target response can be heard. Keep testing with something much smaller than the gold coin, to see how far this madness can go how much silver coin which is this smaller in comparison to gold coin let's see if we can detect that maybe not maybe yes who knows so we want to see if this search coil being completely ridiculously overloaded, if it will detect anything. And let's see if we can find the gold coin like this. Okay then, let's put more rocks. And try again. An impossible and frankly ridiculous test of a hammered silver coin. We're going to measure this hammered silver coin and see if we can detect it through this pile of rock with any signal, whatever. So the hammered silver coin is this small, 10 millimeters. Okay. Let's see now what we do. It says it's non ferrous Let's see if the discrimination works with screwdriver. Oh, we're at Equinox versus Nexus Metal Detector. We'll just leave this one for later. Well, I've shown this before. Um, I've got a pile of nails down there, iron that I got from the Thames. Again, Notice that I'm doing the demonstration on the grass, not on a bed, a table, polystyrene or concrete. It's relatively clear. Okay, so let's put the quarter. Let's completely cover it. And that's, that's got quite a, an annoying edge on it. So let's just put that there. Okay, I've got a well-used Equinox here. Let's put it in, let's put it in park one. And then what I'm gonna do is put the recovery speed. Where are we? Yeah, recovery right up to eight. And then FE to zero. So. It's still hitting on that, that nail. <coughs> right, it might stop 
false in a bit now because of that annoying nail. Yeah? Oh. No. Park two. Let's check. Recovery, let's whack the recovery right up. FE zero. FE2 Right? Yeah, it's all physics, right? Yeah, it is. Single frequency metal detectors are a thing of the past. V3, VCO audio on, 10 inch, 18 kilohertz coil, double D coil, not concentric. It's nil, null, and void. It is so obvious that anybody can test a multi frequency metal detector. Yeah. against a single frequency analog metal detector. The analog metal detector. Are Nexus metal detectors deep? Look at the internet videos. They look like they're very deep, but who cares? So that is 30 centimeters, yep. In the same, the same settings that it was initially, it was never turned off, so let's see what happens. One euro at 30 centimeters. <laughs> so here is a one euro coin. It's picking it up easily at 30 centimeters in air, not so in the ground. It's giving me very weak signal at 35 centimeters in air, but no signal at 30 centimeters in the ground. I'm going to move to another program, the deep uh, search program. This one. Ferro is at zero. Reactivity at minimum, we're looking for deep stuff, so we're not interested in fast detectors. Noise cancellation. Okay, ground balance. Ground balance came on 41. Volume 25, threshold. Put it on zero to stop any interference whatsoever, if we can. Two tone, no discrimination, zero iron. Now, sensitivity to maximum. Okay, on this program the detector is very quiet. And it still doesn't have any signal on one euro coin at 30 centimeters. The technology that Nexus is running, in my opinion, is outdated, obsolete.
MP V2 standard audio, nine inch uh, silver scout coil, 24 kilohertz. On this machine, what we're concentrating on is the DDM meter. Blue is ferrous. So I phased out this. There's still, there's some clipping, but it's telling you that it's ferrous, yeah? So we're working with this amount of stuff. You know, I, I swing similar to the speed that I use, because I go, you know, I poodle along. Uh, Edward III hammered, which is a very nice coin. I found that in one, in one of my fields towards Oxfordshire. It's telling us that there's a non-ferrous item in there, okay? Because it's red. V3, VCO tones on, nine inch silver scout, hammered, raised nail. Um, I've put that point there because they're always pretty brutal for machines. Uh, that's an Edward III. Hang on a minute, let me just take a photo. Let me just take a photo of that. Just so people believe it. And then let us remove the awesome hammered. Oh man. I'm, I'm going to remember digging this coin until the day I die. It was in, it was amazing. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You know, I'm not going to put up some bullcrap video. You know, basically promoting some kind of outdated technology. Do I have anything against Nexus metal detectors? No, I don't. Uh, am I going to buy a Nexus metal detector? Absolutely not. I already know. I already know because of physics. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I believe that most targets like here in the states in iron infested parks masking is a more important issue i'll back it up just a little bit where to hit it just a little bit better how about that multi-frequency detectors have an advantage on those detectors performance wise Let's check it. Take a slugger. Slugger, she pot meteorite, rudine, kama, koika, kotska, to the ruche. Ka. Signal nyama. Dai plutnu do. 
Така, задръжда малко те. Достатъчно. Да не би монетата да претоварва детектора. Така. Дръж, продължай да държи така. Добре, сложи я отдолу под този камък. На същото място. Ето е, на същото място. Ето. Така, дай. Продължай същия дух. На колесата. Първо те фабрицат. Спри за малко само, за да мога да... So the very thing I believe that he's accusing the companies of doing with multi-frequency, he is actually pulling the marketing uh, snoop job. You don't love me, you just love my doggy style. Dual frequency, multi-frequency, whatever you want to call it, running two frequency, five frequency. Uh, uh, uh. You know, you can get into that bait, who cares? I could take the day as two, put it up against a single frequency machine in an unmasking test. I'll back it up just a little bit where to hit it just a little bit better. How about that? What I show is shielding, shielding. This is what you get on my channel. Shielding. So you can hear. We got the iron tone from pretty much all angles. So let's put the coin there. I know what it's like to work hard for your money. I do. I do a lot of things. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction and all you can talk about is money. I believe that what you put out will come back to you. Same multi-frequency outperforming a single frequency detector. Floor see it right there, boys. Let's see, will it hit it? That whole wiggling deal like that right there? That don't work. What you just witnessed right there is the best unmasker in the business. Day is two. With that video, I would take it and do this with it. Right down the toilet. Because that's a bunch of hoot law nonsense. Shielding, shielding proved me to be a liar. You can't because what I show is the truth. Oh, what a lie! <laughs> There we go. That's where it hits it nice. Can we rotate? Oh, yeah, we can. I've added this bit. Put that there. Let's put that there. And that there. Make sure that that's raised. Loses it a little bit, but. Four hundred quid unit, remember. 400 quid detector that's pretty dated and to be honest quite overpriced for what it is but I still love it.